Hello guys, welcome to today's class. What we'll be looking at another example under the closure property. So this will be our penultimate example in this se in this session. We'll, we'll be considering how we can actually have our in a case where our example is based on a particular operation, and then we are asked to now um, find the particular variable. That is, we are given the operation and then we are given an unknown value. How do we get our unknown value using the same operation? Now we have something like this here. We are told give consider a set Q of rational numbers, then evaluate the following. If the operation asterisk is defined by P operation Q equals to P minus 5Q all over 2PQ. So very first thing I'm to, I'm to do here is to bring out my parameters, of which in this case is my operation. That is P operation Q is giving us P minus 5Q all over 2PQ. So for my remark figure one. I have 2 over 3 operation 1 over 5. <laughs> so, what do I do? I simply would substitute it into this operation, and I will have this will simply give me my P here is 2 over 3, I have 2 over 3 minus 5 into brackets. My Q here is 1 over 5, all over 2 PQ, that is my P, which is 2 over 3, times my Q, which is 1 over 5. Simplifying this further, I will have 2 over 3. Minus 5 in 5 here, 1, all over, multiplying this, our 4 over 15. Moving onwards, I'll be having 2 over 3 minus 1 here, is giving me minus 1 over 3 divided by 4 over 15. Converting my division sign to multiplication, I'll be having minus 1 over 3 times 15 over 4, which, which when broken down, will, will give me a final answer. Of minus 5 over 4. So this will be my answer for my figure 1. For my figure 2, my figure 2 is different from my figure 1 due to the presence of an unknown value x in this operation. Now, in this case, we are giving an unknown value as part of the two objects we are relating, and then the third object that is being produced is already given. So we are supposed to, we are, we are already given the supposed answer while we are asked to find the question. So it's just a simple case of relation. Here we actually apply the formula to what to be able to get our unknown value. We have minus four operation x equals to minus theory. Minus four operation x equals to minus theory. And from our formula, from our relation, remember that our p operation q is p minus five q over two p q. It means minus four operation x will simply be our p now is minus four, and our q is x. So we have minus four minus five q. That is 5x all over 2pq, all over 2pq. That is 2 times minus 4 times q, x. So equals to minus 3. Now I can simplify this. Simplifying this, I will have minus 4 minus 5x all over minus 8x equals to minus 3. By cross multiplication, I'll get minus 4 minus 5x equals to minus 24x, which will then give me which will then give me minus 5x plus 24x equals to 4. I will have 24x minus 5x. This will give me a value of 19x equals to 4. I can see my x here is 4 divided by 19. And this will be my final answer for the value. I have been successfully able to, us, to derive my value of the unknown, that is the x value, and then that will be all for this section. In the next class, we'll be looking at a final example on that how we can actually apply this same theorem, this same, um, this same property, this same law, the, that is the closure property in solving a, a question where we can actually now combine two or more relations, that is even more than just one operation, we can, we can actually now combine them into one question and then solve. See you next week.